Good day, friends. I just wanted to record a quick update for no real reason, just to, but just to explain a few things because I've had some thoughts about how I want to do things a bit differently. I'm talking too fast and I'm out of breath already. <laughs> anyway, um, you might have noticed that my upload speed has been a little slow lately, maybe like two or three days between videos. Um, there, there's no particular reason for that other than it's just been harder to edit and upload lately. I've been kind of tired and busy, and even though editing, you know, it's a sit-down job, it's still just kind of uh, tiring and tedious. And uploading has been more difficult because my connection has gotten worse. Whereas it used to take maybe 45 minutes to upload a half-hour video, it now takes almost three hours. Um, I think, I don't know, if the, the dorm I'm living in, it just cut back the... Uh, bandwidth or whatever the fuck you call it or if just more people have been hogging up the connection I don't really know it's just been hard to upload but here's my thought I have three days out of the week that are mostly predictable in that I have a good window to record um, that would be Monday Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday is probably the least likely. It all depends on like what my roommate is up to. So I can't really record when he's around. There's just too much noise and all that. I mean, theoretically I could, and maybe if it starts getting... If I feel like I'm starting to fall behind, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go ahead and do that. But my thought is this. If I have three days a week, and I take two hours to record on those days, that would give me six hours of video and if I upload one video a day, and you know I make them anywhere from like 20 to 30 minutes, it would not. You know, I would have uh, 12 days worth of videos just in the recording span of one week. And this gives me the thought that if I have three days and I plan carefully, I could add another game to my rotation. Right now I have Risen and Gothic 2, and I kind of feel a little weird having two Piranha Bytes games at the same time. Um. So, I already have a game planned for when Risen ends, which hopefully won't be too much longer. I'm uploading a lot of videos for that because I have a lot saved up. I have less for Gothic 2 at the moment. So I'll just upload what I have stored up. I have a lot stored up. It's even though I haven't recorded anything in maybe two weeks. <coughs> but that's what I'm going to be doing. and. I'm not totally sure what I want the third game to be at the moment. I'm considering... I'm in the process of downloading a game right now that only a few weeks ago did it really come to mind that I should play it. It's a fairly classic RPG that a lot of people love. And I just made a an account on good old games right now just to download it. Um... I was thinking about doing that after Gothic 2, but I might start that as my third series. Um, the second thing... I mean, the second game I'm planning is going to happen right after Risen, and I'm not going to make a secret of that one, unlike these other, unlike the uh, other one. Um, that one is going to be The Secret of Monkey Island Enhanced Edition, which I, men I have mentioned that several times already. Um, and what I'm... Uh, what I decided to do after Gothic 2, um, it really depends. I just installed it. I'm not sure if it's going to give me trouble like the last one, but Thief 2 is a possibility because I just saw a short a advertisement for the upcoming Thief game, which I'm actually kind of excited for. And even though I did not finish the first Thief, that was just a nightmare of technical difficulties and... Also, just the fact that I was not playing very well. I was not very smart when I was playing that game, and it just got boring. Thief 2 is supposed to be better, according to some people. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if it doesn't give me the technical nightmares that the first one did, what I'm going to do is, I don't know, maybe direct you to another LP -er if I think he's any good. I don't have one in mind yet. But either that, or maybe provide a resource where you can see all the cutscenes 
and get the story from the first one. I honestly just don't feel like playing it. Even though it's a great game, and I would really love it, it's just more time consuming than I can afford at the moment. Thief 2 might be different. We'll see how it works. If that doesn't work, there is a possibility I'll just skip directly to Deadly Shadows, even though I know it's like a, a much different formula. I think it's a totally different developer as well. I think that's when I went to, um, who the hell made it? I don't really remember. But, uh, other than that, I don't have much to say. Um, this is kind of what I have in mind. If if Thief 2 doesn't work out, I may consider doing something else. There is this game I had in mind, which was a more recent one. And it it really depends on how well that runs, because it's a really good game, and I don't want to... I want to be able to do it justice, so it is possible I will just put it off until I can acquire a PC able to handle it. Because as we all know, gaming laptops just are not up to snuff. If that doesn't work, I don't know. I'll consider something else. But this is just my plan for the moment, and I wanted to make this update. Uh, just to let you all know. And I will see you next time.